Hello and welcome to the state of smartphones 2024, specifically the status of my devices. Uh, so I'll go over each one real quick and then I'll go into the details of each one and whether or not I'm keeping it around because I've acquired a couple here and there. Uh, over here we've got a Lenovo Smart Tab, uh, second generation. Uh, right here there's a Moto Z4 and there's a second Moto Z4 that's currently being used for the camera. Uh, Right here is my daily driver, it's a Pixel 3. Uh, my former daily driver, a Nexus 6, and this is a Kyocera DuraForce Pro 2. Now, to go over each devices and kind of what purpose uh, I acquired them for, well, the tablet I acquired because, one, it was a really great bargain. Uh, you can still find these pretty cheap. They're under 200 USD, uh, which is just a fantastic bargain for uh, a mid-range tablet, uh, and it's got a lot of features. Um, I really like it as far as packaging. It's got a good feel to it. Uh, you can see my full review uh, for the thoughts on that. Uh, crummy camera, but again, that's to be expected. Uh, everything else it does very well. I finally figured out ambient mode, uh, and yeah, I really like this tablet. I got it for things like Lego instructions and videos and some things where a bigger screen is a bit more helpful to have. So I really like this one. I'm definitely planning to keep it. I actually bought a second charging dock uh, just so I can have it uh, kind of set up in multiple places around the house. Uh, so there's that. Uh, the Moto Z4, uh, like I said, I have two of them. I just acquired a second one, which is going to be used uh, as a camera for most of these videos. Uh, because I realized it's kind of hard to do videos about a phone if you're using it to record stuff. So now I have a phone that I can actually use during recordings. Uh, I really like the mods on these. I acquired a bunch of them. Uh, I need to do an updated video on my modem mods because I've acquired more since then. Uh, so you can look forward to that hopefully soon. Um, and I like the Moto Z4. It's a really a great phone and they should have kept this line going. Uh, but it's a shame that they killed it off. Uh, luckily, I still have most of the mods and stuff, and I plan to keep these two around uh, for quite a long time to come. Uh, this is a DuraForce Pro 2, uh, and my intention behind this is that it's a waterproof, rugged phone, and I had the thought that I could take this out on adventures, hikes, uh, swimming, uh, because it's waterproof, things like that, and just have a phone that I don't have to care about scratching or denting, and uh, it's got a sapphire shield, so it doesn't need a screen protector at all. Uh, but I realized in hindsight that maybe maybe I don't really need this, uh, because I do have... It, the camera isn't the greatest, so for like going out and taking cool photos of nature, it's not going to really work for that. Uh, and when I go out hiking, I usually have to end up taking my primary phone anyway, just to, you know, actually have service. Uh, and so this one, I think I'm going to part with. Uh, it was an idea that I had and uh, in execution, it just didn't work out. It's still a good phone though. Uh, and so if you need like a rugged backup phone, uh, it's got wireless charging built in. It's, it's pretty nifty. Uh, but for my purposes, I didn't end up using it for what I intended, so this one's going to be on its way out here. Uh, my daily driver, it's the Pixel 3. I really love the form factor. Uh, it frustrates me that phones keep getting larger, uh, and I just wish that I could have something like this just forever. Uh, but I, obviously I'm, I'm not naive. I know this is eventually going to bite the dust. Uh, I don't know if I'd replace the battery at that point or, or what, but... Uh, most likely, if I were to upgrade my daily driver, I would upgrade to a Pixel 5 uh, because it has it was the last one to have the rear fingerprint sensor, and I, I really like that feature, the location. Uh, so we might get a Pixel 5 in the future if I feel like I need to upgrade that. Uh, I am disappointed that it's larger because this, this is really the best size for smartphones. Uh, and with the edge-to-edge -edge screens they're putting in now, uh, you could definitely still do something like this. It's a shame that companies just keep getting bigger. Speaking of bigger, uh, this is the Nexus 6. 
This was uh, what I used previously uh, to the Pixel. And I really like this phone. I have yet to find a phone that has a better screen uh, because it's something like 440 DPI. Uh, the screen on this is technically like has a better DPI than the Pixel 3 if I recall correctly. Uh, but th this screen is beautiful. It it's amazing. This one has a little bit of image burn from the previous owner, but the screen is beautiful. And so it breaks my heart that I'm going to part with this one uh, just because it only has three gigs of RAM. And so it is getting a little bit slowed down uh, by some of the newer apps and certain websites that are resource heavy. Uh, so I am going to be parting with my Nexus 6. I'll probably do, I'll do a farewell video on it uh, just, just to say so. Uh, it's still a great phone. Uh, amazing build quality. Yes, the back is plastic, but uh, it just feels so good. Uh, so I will have to do a departing video on this one before it, uh, I send it off. Uh, but yeah, so basically one, two, three, four, five, six devices, including the camera here. Uh, six devices is uh, too, too many. So we're going to part with these two, keep the rest. And uh, that's the status of the devices. And so I hope to see you again in another video. Take care. Bye.